Hey, John Dillon here with another exciting tutorial from visualbroccoli.com. When is it never exciting? Well, all the tutorials are exciting, so I am somewhat biased. But you know what we're going to do in this tutorial here is you see a photo here. Now, this photo is a great photo. It looks very dramatic. There, you know, you get firefighters and police officers trying to rescue this patient. But the fact of the matter is, this photo was taken during a training session, and the patient is actually a simulated mannequin. It's a very expensive mannequin. But the photo is great. Well, the problem is I wanted to use this photo for a training video, and I've also used it for some presentations, but nobody was wearing gloves. This is the actual photo. So to make it look real, in fact, I love training photos or photos taken during training because I can actually use them and not worry about violating anybody's HIPAA rights or confidentiality rights. So what we're going to do is apply gloves to my rescuers. So to do that, the first thing I want to do is create a new layer. And we're going to go ahead and name this layer Paint. And by the way, the naming is just for the video. You do not have to do this. And I'm going to change the blending mode. By default, when you create a new layer, it's normal. But what I want to do is change this blending mode to color. And what that means is I'm going to put a color on this layer, and it's going to blend with the layer underneath it. So it's kind of slick. Let me show you. I'm going to go in here now and zoom in. And kind of get nice and close to the hands here. That looks good. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the brush tool, which happens to be right here. And by the way, the shortcut for the brush tool is going to be B. So if you hover over the thumbnail over here in your tools palette, you'll actually see the shortcut, which is B. And if you notice here, if I hover over the hands, you see the, and it's maybe hard to see, but I'm going to go ahead and make it larger. I can change the size, the diameter of the brush. Now, right now I'm using the end brackets to make smaller and to make larger. Of course, I can always go up here and change the pixel size just by doing this, but I find that kind of not the best. I'm also using a soft edge brush. So if you look here, you'll notice like 19 is very hard. You see it's a very distinct circle versus 27. You see it's kind of soft. In fact, if you hover over it, it says hard and soft. So I prefer the soft, and I'm going to keep it that way. And I'm going to change the foreground color to a blue. Let's go ahead with something like that. That looks good. Now I can start painting. And what it's going to do is when I apply the blue, because it's gloves over a hand, it's going to blend with the hand or the actual layer, the background layer, and it's going to look somewhat like this. Look at that. And now I need to get my brush a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use the shortcut, the bracket key, and get the fingertip down there. And because it's on its own layer, if I go too far off the, the reservation here, I can certainly use the eraser tool and clean it up. Look at that. Looking good. And then I can certainly come over here and do these hands. And if I wanted to, I could do a different color. Okay. But for sake of time, I think you kind of get the idea. You don't need to see me paint here. I do want to show you this. Now, I want to move around. Let's say I finished up his hands. I hit the space bar. You notice I get the helping hand there. Now, I can scroll around, take my hand off the space bar, and that's going to revert back to the last tool I was using, which happened to be the brush. And now I can start painting here. Isn't that cool? And you notice here, I went too far over, so I'm going to use the eraser tool, or in this case, the E. And I can just go ahead, and again, the diameter thing with the end brackets works for all the tools. And I can erase there. Go back to the brush by using B. Isn't shortcuts just fun? All right, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and just turn this off. And by magic, we are done here. And what I want to do is I want to go up here to 100%. And let me zoom out here. This is the finished product. Now, one thing I found when I was working with this is it looks pretty good to me. It looks like it's got, it's just a little bit too much. In fact, if you look at the whole color, the gloves just kind of jump out at you. And I really don't want that. The gloves are not the focus of the picture. It's going to be the rescuers. And so the gloves are just a little bit 
too much. So all I'm going to do is drop the opacity to about 60. Yeah, let's bring it down. There you go. Now it's the gloves are a little more subtle. They still look real. And now we have this dramatic rescue. And the beauty of it is, for a photo, this can be in PowerPoint or in a video. People aren't going to be focusing on it, but now it looks more realistic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if, as usual, if you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to contact us. Until then, I hope you always find unique ways to make your training editable for your classroom. Take care.